Now, reaction, we told you, pouring in this morning, some supporting the bill, others saying it is just too dangerous. Yeah, our lead producer, Nora Rogers, sharing the latest statements coming in this morning. Nora? That's right. There has been a lot of reaction from both sides of the aisle. And new today, a local lawmaker says this reform is punishing the police. Now he's pushing his own bill, he says, is going to protect them instead. So State Representative Andrew Chesney is filing a House bill that would penalize people who commit crimes against active or retired law enforcement officers, regardless of the motive behind it. This includes assault, battery, criminal trespass to a house or vehicle. Those would all fall under hate crimes in this case. Chesney says Governor Pritzker has put a target on the back of law enforcement. We need to pass legislation to those who protect law-abiding citizens. While he sees a lot of issues with this police reform bill, other lawmakers are saying it's bringing positive change. The sigh of relief that a lot of people in our community is going to have because of uh, the fact that Illinois is focused on police accountability, is focused on empowering the community at the same level as our law enforcement officers. Lawmakers this morning are also saying this bill was rushed through and just went, was passed too quickly. But Governor Pritzker says it's actually the result of nine public hearings and 30 hours of meetings. So, yeah. again, just reaction from both sides. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of changes you talked about. Uh, when does this all kind of start, you know, for right. the agencies? So, here? we're told some things will be taking effect even as soon as July, but other things I know we're talking about police body cameras, those will go into effect by 2025. Some things are just being phased in over the years. No, it's interesting how that rollout goes throughout the yeah. years as well. Thanks, Nora. Thanks, Nora. 607 this morning. It is a primary day.